Hello, my name is Makai Warner. I'll be your narrator for the day. I am learning under Dr. Jeffrey Pilcher of the University of Toronto. My culinary hub that I chose to showcase is Little Jamaica. Thankfully, I have a lot of family that operate in Little Jamaica, so I'll be showcasing their lives and how they feel about Little Jamaica. I will break this project up into the following categories. One, migration history slash purpose. Two, culinary technology slash food. Three, modern day Little Jamaica. And now onto the first section, migration history slash purpose. Each culinary hub has a history behind why the people in the hub gathered in the first place. The reason Caribbean people came to form Little Jamaica was called the West Indian Domestic Scheme. The West Indian Domestic Scheme was where the Canadian government formed an immigration program that called for 3,000 Caribbean women to come into Canada. My own grandmother happened to come to Canada from the West Indian Domestic Scheme, and my mom knows all about it. Let's hear what my mom has to say about the West Indian Domestic Scheme. Hello, I'm from Trinidad and Tobago, and part of the reason I'm in Canada today is because of the West Indian Domestic Scheme. My mother came to Canada back in the 70s as part of the domestic program to work for a family looking after their children. It was a very tough time because leaving Trinidad and Tobago, which is nice and warm, and coming to Canada to work as a domestic was very was something that took a lot of getting used to and getting used to the culture. At that time, they settled in Vaughan and Oakwood, which was called Little Jamaica. Little Jamaica, at that time, they call it Little Jamaica because most of the people that came from the islands was from Jamaica. And Jamaica being one of the largest West Indian islands, they did not recognize the smaller islands like Trinidad and Tobago, Grenada, St. Vincent. Those are the people that was their little hub and that's where we first settled when we came to, to Canada. And so um, we always uh, pay homage to Little Jamaica because that was where the Caribbean roots started. And now onto our second section, culinary technologies slash food. Part of the tools that they use to make food is this beautiful barbecue where a lot of jerk chicken is cooked and great Caribbean delicacies. Here's another shot of the barbecue drum in action. The next culinary technology that I have is called a tawa. Basically it's used to make roti, which is like a soft tortilla shell in the Caribbean. This is the roti dough. I'm just uh, flattening it. Another culinary food that you can find in Little Jamaica is called doubles. Doubles are a nice soft fried shell with chickpeas in it. Okay, so one of the last culinary foods I'm going to show you is called oxtail. Here is a video of oxtail before. And here is a video of oxtail after when it is prepared and cooked. Hey guys, so one of the last culinary foods and technologies that I wanted to show you was planting. 
Plantain is very important, and I'll show you and tell you why later on. Okay, so my mom has fried some plantains. Plantains are a Caribbean dish that are similar to a banana. They are in the same fig family, and people fry them. This frying of plantain connects me to modern day Little Jamaica. There is actually a book with Little Jamaica as a setting called Frying Plantain. So last section but not least, modern day Little Jamaica. Frying Plantain is a book by Zalika Reed Benta that is set in Little Jamaica. Zalika Reed Benta's novel, Frying Plantain, is about balancing a Caribbean identity that has been passed down from one's parent whilst identifying as Canadian. This book resonates with me because I grew up Trinidadian. People that were Trinidadian would make fun of me due to my Canadian heritage and vice versa for Canadians. It was hard to achieve an equilibrium. This book is set in modern day Little Jamaica. Let's talk about other things that modern day Little Jamaica is facing. A big dilemma that modern day Little Jamaica is facing, affecting its restaurants and general way of doing business and its livelihood, is construction. Right now there is a construction project called the Eglinton Crossing LRT. The reason that this project is a big dilemma is because it is driving away business from the Eglinton West headquarters. Finally, here is my uncle that was a vendor at Little Jamaica for many years and how he feels about the construction. Hi, I've been a vendor at Little Jamaica for many years. The construction that the government is doing here has greatly reduced our business. We were told that it's a heritage site, so we were eager to have the construction, but the construction has severely hampered not only my business, but 140 other businesses. We were once told that this would be done by 2021. It's now 2022, and look at it has not been done at yet. We are suffering, we are having it too difficult. I wish there's something the government could do to compensate us and to help us for the great loss that us vendors has incurred in this little beautiful Jamaica. Well, thanks for watching my video. I hope you learned something about my culinary hub, Little Jamaica. I showed you the migration history, slash purpose of the formation of Little Jamaica. I showed you the culinary technologies and food of Little Jamaica. And last but not least, I showed you some issues of modern day Little Jamaica. I'd just like to thank you, Dr. Jeffrey Pilcher, for allowing me to express myself in the way I know best, and that is in video form. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.